Welcome back to United Games Authority. I am Shade Hunter, and today we're in Imperion, and we need to find a good base location to expand our crafting capabilities. Because being here is nice, we have our little mobile crafter, but we need some transportation and some bigger things, and I will explain to you why I know we need bigger and better ways of crafting. So, let's get to it. All right, so first things first, we have our portable constructor here. And if you actually go into the F3 menu and look at all these wonderful, cool things, you'll notice these blocks of color on the left hand side. The blocks of color coincide to the blocks down at the bottom that tell you what it can be made in. The pink is suit constructor, yellow portable, flashy color, small constructor, SV, large, and advanced. So if you notice, a lot of this base stuff is going to need an advanced constructor. Or at the very least, a large, a large one. So, we need to find a base. And normally, on single player, you can actually find a place and take it over. Or you can build your own. There's also the factory which if you have the right stuff unlocked, you can build your own base. Now, that being said, since I have things locked, I'm going to have to probably build my own base. Let's go ahead and go to stock. Now, these three icons up in the upper left hand corner, the far left one is the ones that I own, the specific things that I have made. Now, these are just alterations of things that I have found on the workshop. The middle one are workshop downloaded items and the right one are the stock that are built into the game. And you can do that with the bases, the hover, the small vessel, the capital vessel, and then you can just have all of them. I want to spawn one in and we'll probably spawn in our beginning base uh, just so that I can show you how it works. But for the most part, we are going to be building everything on our own. And spawning in our beginning base is going to be relatively simple and easy. And then it's going to get more complicated as we try to build other vehicles. One base that I really like is this one. The Polaris Modular C. It gives you a picture in the upper right hand corner. Gives you a list of materials you need. And all the specs for it. Now, I cannot put anything, any of these into the factory because I need to learn a bunch of different things down here before I can even build this. And the reason I want to build this one is because it automatically starts out with guns on it, which we really don't need right now. But it also starts out with constructors and garden and everything else. So we are probably going to need to build a small base before we get to this one. Because it needs hydroponics unit concrete. Well, if we go in here to the portable constructor and go to blocks, it only has the availability for the hydroponics unit wood. So we're going to have to build a little bit smaller base to satisfy that. Which means we are probably going to have to go to this small one here, which is relatively easy. So we want small constructor, fuel tank small, generator, ventilators, wireless connection. Let's go ahead and fuel tank small. Wireless connector is under miscellaneous. Ventilator is under miscellaneous. And I believe the generator small is on here. Let's see what else it wants. Cargo boxes, small constructor, okay. So, small constructor, cargo boxes, and then that's it. We can add it to the factory. Once you add it to the factory, it gives you this menu here, and you can drop stuff in. It is my experience that this total production time of seven minutes, or whatever the time is of the thing you're trying to build, uh, can be reduced depending on what you put in there and how complicated it is. So. If I go into our constructor, our small constructor here, 
and build a generator and then go over and where, where are my components there they are and then build let's say in com computers we're gonna let that stuff build while we're doing some other things and that's a lot of things it needs to do so we're gonna let it do its thing and it's using up a lot of our resources but that's fine because there are a lot of boulders in the area and frankly i'm just not in the mood to use this to mine everything because it's slow and annoying also through the night i did sleep for a couple of times um and just so that i can make all of this biofuel that biofuel is going to help because in this tree here go to tools we're going to go and grab the mechanical drill and the ore scanner and then this is going to be a whole lot more useful to us also under weapons we're going to grab assault rifle sniper rifle and light armor those are going to be very 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 useful so now we want to go in here go under the weapons and items make our assault rifle make our sniper rifle make a few rounds of the rounds for the assault rifle and cypher rounds um let's go ahead and make a couple more of those because if you look at the output count on this i can't point at it because it'll move but at the very bottom of this list you'll see an output count it outputs 50 per craft and we're going to do 20 crafts that's going to be quite a few and then we want to make the drill now, I don't know if we have all the materials for all this, so let's go ahead and cancel all this down here, and let's get this drill up and running first, because it's really needed. And then we'll do the other things. Because then, if we need more stuff to make this other stuff, we'll have the drill to get it. So, while this stuff processes, we should have enough stuff to make it, I hope. I don't think we're going to have the copper. Let's go grab some more copper real quick. Oh, there's a copper rock. Throw the copper in there. Hopefully that's enough to get everything going. Alright, while this stuff crafts up, um, I'm going to sit here and wait. Or, if you don't want to wait for stuff to craft, you can just sleep eight hours, and then everything that it was able to craft is done. As you can see, it was not able to make any of the ammunition because we are missing copper. But we have our drill. So we can grab our drill, put it on our bar down here. And now we have the generator. The generator is pretty heavy. If you watch my volume, it goes up pretty high. Then we have some computers and we have our weapons that we need ammo for. Let's go ahead and check out to see what these do in here. So if you watch the material amounts and you watch the time, this should reduce the needed on both. Just that one thing took two minutes off. And it gave us a bit of stuff. Now, one computer will give us a little bit of things. And then... That'll give us a little bit more. And it keeps reducing the time. So let's go ahead and sleep. Get us some light. Just becoming morning. Or is it just becoming night? No, it's just going to be morning. Okay. So another thing we need is electronics for the suit. And electronics takes copper. So we need to go find copper. Now we have a drill. Let's go ahead and fill it up. Let's run around and try to find some copper. Now, there are a couple of nodes right here that I want, so this drill makes it a lot faster. There's some copper. Now, the last one we got 10 out of. We got 10 out of that one. So, it's not any more efficient, but it is a lot faster. Now, we are going to want to build a base somewhere else. Building it here probably isn't a good idea. And I'll explain why a little bit. We want to find some water. Being near water is always a good idea. 
Oh, let's check our weight. Oh, we're getting pretty full. Let's go ahead and hit this copper up and then go back. Yep, yeah, 429. Let's go ahead and go back. Now with all this copper, we should be able to get the ammo we need plus the a little bit of transportation that might help. Oh, and the armor. So it does go quite a ways. All right. So let's dump all this in here. Go here. Let's go ahead and get the armor first. Then that ammo. Then that ammo. And we should be pretty set. And let's go ahead and get an ore scanner. So what it says about the ore scanner is... Will show underground ore rocks within a range of 25 meters while any handheld drill is equipped. So, it's useful. Now, if we take this to the detector side... We already have iron deposit over there. We have some radar signals off in that direction, which we want to go check out. Wreckage. We have a heat signature. Radar signature in that way. Another heat signature. Radar. Okay. So, another thing we want to go ahead and manufacture is a hover bike. So that we can easily get around and in a timely manner and be able to check out the surrounding area. So let's go to the map. Now, if we go south, which is away from the wreckage, which is fine, there's water down there. So that's the way we wanna we wanna check in that direction and see if we can find a good spot to set up a base. Alright, I'm gonna let all this stuff oh, the armor's done. Okay. I keep saying I'm gonna let stuff craft and I don't, because it's already done. So, oh, this only works with light armor. You can uh, equip this in your player's inventory. Any other armor, like medium and heavy, you have to use a armor locker to be able to do it. But with the light armor, it will give us some protection and availability for survival. Now, you can press U to take the helmet off. Press J to turn the jetpack on. And I would highly suggest you uh, learn how to feather yourself down. Because uh, if you go way up high and then just drop, you can end up hurting yourself. You drop far enough. All right. So we got our first 250 rifle rounds. That's cool. Looks like we might actually have enough for everything. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have enough for everything. Awesome. And then we want to go around and gather up more materials to make some more of these big things to increase the speed at which our thing builds in our factory. So let's go ahead and queue up a small constructor, a fuel tank, and another generator, and we'll see what all that does. Oh, and a wireless. If we've got enough to make all that, it should definitely help putting our stuff together. So I am going to just let this craft. I'm not going to just go sleep through the day. I'm just going to let that craft. And we'll be back momentarily. All right. So everything was made. Um, well, I didn't wasn't able to make all of it because we're still super low on copper. That's like the one thing that keeps hindering us. But I got everything else made. I got my hover bike and everything. Dumping the, all the stuff that it was able to make got us down to 3 minutes 12 seconds and got us a decent amount of stuff. At this point, I want to see what ha what requires silicon and iron because we only need 4 more copper. Okay. So, there's the 4 copper. That one's done. Now, carbon substrate, that requires plant fibers and stone dust. And it gives 20 each. So we're just going to say make me 100. And then we want something that use, that's going to have specifically copper and silicon. Or not copper, iron and silicon. Which unfortunately isn't much. There's a lot in this one. But it needs copper. So you know what? While this makes the carbon substrate that we're going to need, let's go ahead and explore one of these locations nearby. Well, let's first do our little ping thing again. The closest 
radar signal is that one. So let's go. It's towards the UCH wreckage. So let's go ahead and check that out because we want to get some copper, large quantities of it. And that's copper. So this is a good time to show you the easier way to mine rather than just chasing rocks on the surface. And let's go ahead and pick that up. Now we don't have that much space, so we're gonna have to keep checking. But let's go ahead and get close to right above this. And then one thing I love about this game, well, let's take, take a bite to eat real quick. Okay, a couple bites to eat is the ease that it is to mine. You do not want to mine into the ground, just like the old Minecraft saying, don't ever dig straight down. You will get yourself stuck in this war in this game or because you'll end up running out of fuel or whatever. But if you press F5, you get a drone. And then you can look almost straight down dig and there's our there's our copper okay 104 copper that should be good now if your drones in a hole you don't have to fly back to your body you can just hit f5 and it'll come back um also if you get too far away from your body there is a limit at which you will lose contact and then it just immediately goes back all right, so we want to go back to our little uh, camp. This thing may not be the best, but you know what? It's faster than walking. Now, you don't want to... Uh, now, this thing, because it's a item you place on the ground to use, it will disappear after a while, so you want to go ahead and pick it up. All right, so let's go ahead and dump that in there. That is a lot of carbon substrate, but it's still not enough. Go into here. We dump this in. We still need more. We need like 300 more. So, what we're going to do is wait for this to do its thing. But we're also going to create some of these motors because the motors look like they've got a bunch of steel in them. And it's got plastic tubes, which is carbon substrate. Um, let's see here. Electronics which has the silicon, mechanical components, which has steel. Yeah, so we'll build some of these and see what happens. I like building the components, but you know what? I think I'm, I'm just going to say screw it and build the ingots that we need. I think that's going to be the best option at, at this point instead. So let's go ahead and build, get 100 silicon and 90 iron, 86 iron, if I'm mathing correct. Each craft of iron creates 10. So let's just create 100 of each of these, and then we will uh, go from there. Now this carbon substrate. Now we just need a little bit more. Now we only need four more. There we go. Now you can put over the amount in there, but you'll just have it sitting in your factory and not able to use it. Okay, there's some the iron that we need. Let's go ahead and put half that in. Now we only need 40 more. There's that done. Now we're just waiting on the silicon, and we need more silicon, or or we need to make silicon ore out of stone dust which I don't like doing. So let's go ahead and take the rest of this silicon, dump it in here, and we'll go mine up some silicon. So to do this the easier way, and we'll be able to get more, let's go ahead and find, we have our copper, iron. Uh, let's go in that direction, see if we can find some silicon. There we go. That should be good. There we go. Our production. And it'll be done in three minutes. 
So in the meantime, let us now see. I can't carry all of this. It'll be too heavy. Okay, I'm already full just on fuel. So let's go ahead and carry as much as we can. You no, know, you know what? We're gonna actually need the fuel more than anything else. We will come back for this other stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can uh pick up my tent, pick up that. This will show on the map. Let's go look for a spot to place it. Right here looks good. Near water, near some resources. That should be good. And we've got a minute 34 left. It's ready. We'll come back. All right, we're back. And it has put it into here under completed. So you still have all the blueprints down here. And then up here, that's where it puts it. Then you want to click spawn. Uh, excuse me. Spawn. There we go. Now, it seems like it's big, but this is actually very small. I don't want it facing the water, because sometimes little dudes come out of the water. And you want to make sure that it's solid on the ground, otherwise you could uh, have issues with it collapsing, because there is structural integrity in this game. And there's all kinds of things popping up. Rival module. Now, this does not have anywhere to spawn, so we're going to have to place down our tent. And what I like to do is kind of have it right here out of the front with my little temperature thing nearby as a light source. And then in the morning, we'll go get our resources there. But first things first, we have our generator, our wireless boxes. Now, this is what it wants us to use for the input and output. I'm, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that, but we'll get to that in a minute. Then you have your oxygen, and that is why I wanted us to be near water, because we can actually use the water to make oxygen to fill our tank and to fill an SV or whatever. So we want to take our tank, open it, drop all our biofuel in, and now we're up and running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have green as the input, blue as the output, and this is just going to be general storage for some things that I don't want to have on me just to try to lower that volume down all right so if you're looking at something let's say we want to rename this to input you want to look at it and press P then go to devices and it will highlight the cargo pallet that you press P on and we're gonna say input and then the other cargo pallet is right here so we can just grab it and say output now <clears throat> these do not hold very much so we may end up having to change it to this one anyway because this one holds a whole lot more or we could just change those containers out for bigger ones so then we go over to this constructor that it starts out with and we want to go input output and there's a lot more things that this little guy can make but he can't make the medical that is specifically for a different utility item so what I'm going to do is now that we have our base in between this episode and next i am going to go grab the rest of our stuff and bring the portable constructor over here probably set it right there and get everything put away in here and that's where we will leave it off thank you all for watching really do appreciate it if any of this was remotely helpful or at least slightly entertaining, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if I forgot anything or missed anything or you have any questions, please hit up the comment section. Let me know and we will make sure that everybody has an answer to whatever questions you have. Thanks a lot. Catch you on the flip side. Later.